Hello everyone, this is Unreal Noob and welcome to Unreal Engine 4 Beginners Tutorial. Today we are going to start a new dungeon crawler series. Uh, we will be using the 4.26.1 engine version. Let us get started. And once it gets loaded, we'll choose games, press next, and we'll be using the third person template for this one and make sure it's blueprints uh, ray tracing is off and maximum quality we are using the desktop and i will call it the dungeon crawler as the project name and create the project and while it's loading we will add in our assets we'll go to the marketplace see whatever is free for us to use mm, let's say weapon whatever is free we have this one free fantasy weapon you can add this even this one infinity blade weapons And also check whatever is free for the month as well. Uh, boss enemy pack that would be really useful for this month. Check out. Press order. Check out, and once that is done, let us move to the library and we'll add in whatever we have. So, this one to our dungeon crawler, this one as well, and for the character. I have this gothic knight it was free like few months ago we'll add that uh, if you don't have this we, you can also use the paragon ones they're quite nice mm. I'll add in some animations uh, just animations we will add in the boss enemy that we have got the witch one uh, this is a paid one uh, this is optional and some of the dead animations would be good And I don't think we need any more of these. <coughs> if you do not have these, don't worry. Like you can use uh, the paragons, paragon ones. Paragons have uh, animations in them. So once they are added, they will show up in the content folder. This one weapon pack have the skeletal meshes. Okay, I'll just let them load up. Um, you can check out the axe that we have, or the other static meshes. We have a hammer, <coughs> a mace, a sickle, and a sword. A sickle, uh, probably a long sword. Dagger that you can throw, which is cool. So, this is from the weapons pack, that's all we'll be requiring. Mm, we have the boss scene animations, we have the in place and root motions. So, everything was added. We even have the GK Knight 
uh, so let us make a folder this will be our dungeon crawler folder let us open our dungeon crawler folder and we'll right click and in blueprint classes we'll choose character and we'll call this bp underscore player and let us open this one up in the components panel click on the mesh and add component spring arm one spring arm is added make sure spring arm is selected and add another component camera also make sure camera is the child component of the spring arm and the spring arm is a child component of the mesh uh, you can click on this uh, arrow to make sure that it is a child and um, if you do not see uh, an arrow then it means it is not a child of the spring arm if the camera is not a child of the spring arm like this what you could do is drag the camera onto the spring arm just like that so that it becomes a child of the spring arm again let us now click on the mesh and under skeletal mesh we can add in the gothic knight so once that's loaded in what we could do is do a minus 88 make it at 2 speed just check that yeah the fits should be just like that Mm, this disables the snapping so you can just move it up just like that which is good enough minus 85 I hope it is fine we'll check that later on now under transform in the mesh uh, make sure the rotation is minus 90 this would make the mesh uh, look to the positive x-axis and once that is done uh, click on the drop down next to the compile and over there what you have to do is uh, make sure it's on success only so that you don't have to compile and save every time let us now go back to the content folder in our maps and then uh, right click and we'll make new folder call it the player then we will move our BP player inside the folder and we'll create another folder and we'll call it game mode base let us rename our player folder to character because we will be adding another folder and this one will be called player controller <clears throat> so over here we'll be using a blueprint class and adding the player controller bp underscore player controller We'll add another folder we'll call it bpi uh, sorry not interfaces we'll call another folder call it interactables mm, this is everything that i can think of at this moment we will require these in the future and the last thing we need is to add the game mode base so right click in blueprint class add in the game mode base we'll call it bp underscore game mode base and in here we will be adding the player controller class as the bp player controller and the default player class to bp player compile close and make sure you overwrite it as a bp game mode delete that and
make sure spring arm is on the rotation of 90 so we are like this and yeah this one has to go minus 88 otherwise it's floating up now it is snapped to the floor okay thank you guys for watching this video and if you learned something from this please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and we will start adding movement inputs and mouse inputs in our next lesson i'll see you in the next one